Hi, this is a uh, tutorial on using Crontab. Um, what I use Crontab for at the moment um, is BBC iPlayer um, videos. Uh, what I'm what I'm doing is that I view the iPlayer movie and then I can grab it and pull it directly uh, to where I want. Um, the whole point of Crontabs uh, is to run a particular command based on a group of arguments um, that you tell it to. So you tell it when you want it to run. Uh, what it is you want to run. Now I'm no expert on this, there's lots of different ways of doing this. Um, you can run scripts for instance which is probably the best way of doing it. Um, I run individual commands based on a particular schedule that I've put which seems to work for me um, but I'm sure there's much better ways of doing it with scripts uh, for the much cleverer people out there than myself. Uh, to look at crontabs, uh, if you type in crontab and then the minus u followed by the name of the user so I can see myself and then minus L which you can either list it or minus E so you can edit it so if I edit this one you can see after all of these hashed out parts this part is per line tells you uh, first of all a group of a group of arguments uh, of what you want to do followed by uh, the script you want to run or followed by the particular command you want to run. So uh, I've got five different ones here. Uh, so it just goes through uh, the top bit to explain what it is. So uh, the first column you can have is every minute. Um, the second column uh, is every hour. So, so every minute is so that's 0 through to 59. Um, every hour through 0 through to 23 and then back to the 24th hour and then back to the 0 again so 0 to 23 uh, DOM is uh, day of month uh, so it's 0 through to 31 um, MON is month so 0 through to 12 um, uh, well you could also have names as well there uh, you don't have to just have 0 through to 12 um, you can also uh, Jan, Feb, March, etc., etc. Um, but you have to be very specific about exactly what that syntax is. Uh, and then day of week is the last one. So that is the the one, two, three, four. All right now this bit here where it's got uh, asterisks forward slash sixty, for instance, uh, that uh, is a wild card. So the wild cards that you can have for specific things if you want it to do it on on every occasion. So uh, the asterisk is is used uh, as the wild card here. Uh, this can be used to uh, specify when I want it to be occurred. So I want it to uh, occur at any point, any day of the month, any any month, any day of the week. You know, so that instead of having every day of the week in there, you can just use asterisks to show all of that. It's pretty pretty self-explanatory. Um, so I have here. So every every sixty minutes, then I want you to essentially run this command. So this command I've got here will be run every 60 minutes uh, by that particular user so I'm logged in as me as a user if this is my cron tab so this will run as me now if this needed um, elevated privileges for instance then it would fail because it would run as me uh, it might ask for a password but of course I'm not there to write in the password so make sure that you put your cron tabs uh, if you need things like for MySQL which is a lot of people use it for if you're doing MySQL dumps into a particular folder before they're grabbed out and they're pushed somewhere else um, you would probably uh, one way of doing that uh, would be to using the, the root user to do that um, or setting up specific users for that user to, to do so um, so yeah going back to this so the slash here so the star is for or the asterisk is for uh, of wildcard meaning any the slash um, is, is per per time per interval so every 60 minutes every 10 minutes every 43 a third minute uh, every 15 minutes for instance so I've done that so I've got different things running at different times essentially um, that's that's uh, a different example of what you can do so if I had so here like slash 15 so that means every 15 minutes run this command of every day if I wanted it for instance on the on the tenth day of the month I would put a ten in here uh, I could put uh, zero to 
to five in here for instance if I wanted to run every day of the week um, between between Monday and uh, between Sunday and Friday zero is a Sunday not a Monday um, so depending on what you want to do um, it's very very powerful and exactly what you want you have to play around with it a bit to get it exactly the way you want it to um, but essentially uh, it's, it's that's pretty much all there is to it um, so yeah that is uh, that is Crontabs